Hey, welcome back to our Caitlin Care segment. You know, we are just days away from a pretty big phenomenon. We're talking about the great solar eclipse. I know a lot of people have their eyes on, on so much to do for it. You know, you want to take a picture, you want to go somewhere to be able to, to see everything, to capture the moment. Well, this morning, we're so excited to have Paul Hudson, the owner of Lawrence Photo and Print Frame and Frame here in Wichita to talk about um, you know, kind of preparing for this big day because there's a lot at stake, I think. You only have a short time to get that perfect picture. Well, uh, for the total eclipse, we'll have about two minutes. Mm -hmm. So they'll, it's about a two hour time frame leading up to and then, uh, and then as it goes through the final phases of the eclipse, about a two hour time frame, but, but only so two minutes for the totality. Two whole minutes. What do we need to do to go and prep for it all? Because you can't go and just take a picture or look at it with the naked eye, you really need to have some protection, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and that's, safety is the utmost uh, of importance. Uh, at minimum, you need some safety glasses okay. uh, that are ISO rated, mm -hmm. uh, and these are, so you are, there's a limitation. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't look at the sun, even with these glasses on, for more than three, uh, three minutes, I'm okay. sorry. Mm -hmm. So, but you can do it intermittently. So, mm -hmm. peek at it, take a look, take a picture, uh, and then look away. Okay, okay. But in addition to not just wearing glasses, like a lot of people think about maybe when looking at the eclipse, also with your camera, you need to have a filter. Absolutely, and uh, you don't want to burn it. your eyes, you don't want to burn the sensor in your camera. Yeah. The protection is of uh, most importance. Uh, inexpensive filters are available from everything from a cell phone mm -hmm. to a digital SLR camera, professional level equipment, sure. as well as point and shoot cameras like these right yes, here. Yes, absolutely. See. And they come in a small size and they'll fold up together. Oh, that's cool. And uh, just slip over the front of a camera. Uh, it's also important to have a tripod. That way you're not focusing on looking for the sun and that sort of thing. Yeah. Accidentally taking a peek at the sun uh, before it's safe to do so at totality. That's true. Hey, this is great bits of advice. And, and when it comes to getting a filter like that, for whether it's something like for yourself or for your camera, is it expensive to go and do? Absolutely not. They're like going to run about twelve dollars and up. Okay. Uh, so they're very affordable. And also for your cell phone too. I, I would say that some people might want to go and get something for their cell phone. Do you have a tip for that? Your glasses. Okay. An extra pair of glasses, and you can just lay that over the front of your cell phone lens, and uh, it'll work perfect. That's awesome. Hey, when people go and check out your shop, we have a little guest over here, so cute in studio. Who do we have here with us? Well, this is Tag. He's been the public relations manager down at Lawrence Photo for about the past eight years this month, I think. Tag. Oh, I love it. And Lawrence Photo, you know, you guys are over over on East Central. Central and Woodlawn. Central and Woodlawn. So if people want to go and check out this little one. <laughs> very cooperative <laughs> in studio. I just, you know, I'm just relaxed as all can be. He's just so excited chill. to be here. But uh, again, 6508 East Central, right here in town for Lawrence Photo Print and Frame. If you want to go and check out some of their stuff in terms of preparing for that big moment, or if you have questions, I'm sure uh, you know Paul or his team would be happy to answer any of them for preparing for that moment. Because people want to get that picture, and I understand. I mean, if you only have a couple of solid minutes to getting that total solar eclipse, absolutely, you have to this do everything. is for the most part a once in a lifetime event. Yeah. Uh, the path of the eclipse is going to be about 70 miles wide, mm -hmm. but it's only going to be for two minutes at totality. So you'll be able to see the shadow approaching and leaving. Well, it's pretty exciting. Hey, and if you want to go and check out stuff with the solar eclipse, we have an event over here at Cake, and we're so excited to invite people over to it. Uh, you can join us on the 21st for our eclipse watch party. It's going to be here at our studio, 1500 Northwest Street. We're going to have live music, food trucks, and a whole lot more. Uh, and the event, by the way, is sponsored not just by us, but also our partners like Dylan's and Green Vision Group. But we're so glad, Paul, that you could be here this morning to share a bit of that, that guidance, that advice that I think a lot of us want in terms of getting that perfect picture because the time coming and you need to plan when it comes to this because who knows when these things especially those filters will run out right absolutely so. we've uh we've run out of one size already oh no well, that's not more good on here, the but way but i'm sure yeah more are on the way